So now welcome back to our F1 10's autonomous racing car build. We are here in part number three where I will show you now how to put everything together and connect it the right way. So we move our upper level chassis a little bit aside and bring back our car here so you can see everything correctly and the first thing we will do because it's easier to handle afterwards so grab your battery and put it inside the vehicle so the cable is looking out on the left side here because we will use that afterwards the Second thing we will do is we will move our cable from the servo to this side here so we can grab it more easily afterwards. And last thing we do, we take our mounted upper level chassis and put it on the vehicle. Nice and slowly. Now what you can see here, it fits perfectly. So, grab your three mounts and your um, three screws here and let's just mount the vehicle together with the upper level chassis. It's just three screws here, super easy, convenient and that's all we need for right now. In the Traxxas Ford Focus car, we have two additional screws here. But we're not using that here on the slash. And voila, everything is mounted on the vehicle. So, now we have put everything together, now it's coming to the last parts where we connect everything. Let's start with the motor first. You can see here that your motor has three cables, the white one, the yellow one and the blue one. And you see here that your VESC, I put it up like that, that your VESC has an A, B and C. And we connect it we connect them the same way, which means the A1 is connected with the white, the B1 is connected with the with the yellow one, the mount is here a little bit, I lost the mount here, what is important that you have the specific mounts here, So, and now we are connecting our battery with the VESC. So first of all, grab this connector here and plug it into the VESC energy side. Um, very easy, it just goes in one direction. Then grab your Traxxas one. And this one is connecting the Traxxas battery with our power board and with the VESC energy side. So first of all, we plug it into the VESC energy side. No worries, it's just going in one direction. Then we plug it in our power board here. And the last one is for the battery, but we will connect that one later. We do not want to power it up right now because we are missing two more parts. First of all, it's the connection of the BESC with our NVIDIA Jetson. You see here that you have at the NVIDIA Jetson different USB ports. We can use one of them and connect the BESC with an USB cable. That's number three. You see here now on the left side, we have a lot of cables. And last but not least, that's our LiDAR system. 
our LiDAR system has a USB, it's a long cable. Um, you can strip that down, but then you have to put a new USB port in. That's a little bit annoying. So first of all, you connect the USB part, that's number one. And then number two, try to storage the cable a little bit more on the left side here. And then it comes to part number three, and that's the connection of the energy. Again, here the LiDAR has two connectors, um, brown, you can see that here on the left side of the LiDAR, brown means 12 voltage and blue means zero voltage. And we will use our power connector on this side again here and move those little cables to the side and we will connect the 12 voltage with one of the greens here first. And then we will connect the zero voltage that out again. So, and that's it. That's our build of the F110 autonomous racing car. We showed you in this very series how to move from a normal um, remote control car that you can buy in any store to an autonomous racing car that's used in our F110 autonomous Grand Prix and that's used in our research. We are finished with this video series and to give you a little bit more impression of the car we will show you now a little bit more video footage. Thank you very much for listening and see you in our next part where we power this one up install all the necessary software and move on with the research. Thank you and bye.